I'm finally home. It's my day. Like, why can't we just chill? Just, just be alone. You know what I mean? Mother, are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh. That was stuck on the netting. <laughs> oh, he's inside. I'm outside. Little Trev. There we go. Woohoo! First fish in like three weeks. Yeah, boy. That was stuck on the netting. I'm pretty sure he ate it off the netting. Thanks, mate. Nice little big eye. Oh. What have we got here? Come here, mate. He's about legal. 40 centimeters. Nice little flathead. Gonna put him back. There you go. You welcome back, guys, to another episode of Fishing with Timmy Turtle. I'm not gonna film the intro with my phone because it's at the bottom of the Kuma River. Oops. Spent the last two weeks chasing barramundi and big jacks with massive swim baits and as you can tell by a limited number of, no, actually no videos, didn't pan out very well. So we've gone back to the small baits, little slim swims and some curly tails just to get some fish. Had a lot of messages, where's your next video? Well, I've been working on it, but I'll get there. We're actually on Pipe Dream 2's maiden voyage. I don't know if you guys can tell, but look at it. She looks brand spanker. Got new bolts, new bit of ply, and new brackets on the bottom. She actually feels a lot, oh, and I've gone with hardwood for the struts. She actually feels a lot more sturdy than the last one. Starting to feel a bit dodgy. Yep. What is that? Oh, it's a brim. She had some go for his size. Yoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Back on some fish. There we go, nice little brim. Put him back. Just throwing around the little Z-Man Slim Swim and Calico candy. I thought the water was going to be darker than this. There you go, have a look at that. It's 1.6 jig head. Bit impatient this morning. Didn't want to be waiting forever for it to get to the bottom. Flicking along some rock walls seeing if anything's around. We'll chase bigger fish later. We'll get some small ones today. Yep. Oh. Little brim. Oh, she's not a bad size. Good size brim. I don't want to be too loud because people sleeping around here. Yeah, come on, mate. Come on. Oh, a good size too. What is he? About 30 centimetres. Nice 30 centimetre brim. Slim Slim's do... Slim Slim. Swim Slim Slim. Slim Swim's doing the job this morning. Feels like another brim. What do we got? Come on. Oh, the Lestri cod. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Didn't expect him. Gee, I love catching these things. They just look so good. Woohoo! Well, I think I might be fishing small baits for a little while until the big fish come back on the bite. Beautiful little estuary cod. Look at that, it's beautiful. Woo, such a pretty fish. There you go, mate. Just trying a couple of different retrieves. A couple of little jerks and pauses, letting it hit the rocks every now and then. Praying that it doesn't get snagged up. So far, so good. And then just a slow roll along the bottom. Just seeing what works. I don't think I've spoken to the camera in about 
three weeks. I've literally just fished. A bit hard to fish. We had a lot of rain. A bit hard to fish in the rain with camera gear. I think every now and then you just have to tie the little lures on, bite the bullet, go for the little stuff, get your mojo back, and we'll go after some big ones. I'll let you guys know when they're back feeding on the big baits. Because it has been struggle street for me. All my, all my plans didn't pay off. Not that my plans really pay off anyway, ever. Yep. Oh, come on, tighten up. Oh, we've got a last little flathead. Woohoo! Second flathead for the day. Oh, come on, mate. There we go. There's so much bait down there. There we go, another nice little flathead. I can feel little touches down there. Then I'll just let it sit for a while and he come up. Come up and ate it. Come on, where are they at? Yep, yep, I think that's another flathead. Oh, this one's got some go. Oh yeah, another another 40. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. I think it's the same one. Here we go. He's slightly bigger, probably 41, 42. There you go. I heard if you rub your cut on the belly of a flathead, it stops the bleeding. I'm not sure about that. You might get infected. So maybe don't try that. There you go. Keep bouncing this along this little ridge here. It must be sitting along here. Ow, you got me good. Let's give it a couple of darts every now and then. Yep, yep, oh, what is that? He took that real slow. Is that another one? Oh, it is too. Oh, yep. Come here, mate. Come here, mate. There we go. Holy dooly. That's the same one. It's got to be. He's just eaten that three times in a row, I reckon. Oh, we'd have a good feed of flathead today if we wanted one. There we go. Another 40, 42. Oh. I don't know whether they're all the same size or I've caught the same one three times in a row. Yep. Oh, another flatty. Same one. Fourth time I've caught him. Just keeps going back to the same spot. Makes for good viewing though. Makes it look like I can catch fish. Actually, he's not a bad size, this one. We're gonna send him on his way. There's a flathead after it. I can see it. Oh, there's like three after it. Oh, there's a big one after it. Let's see if we can get him. He's at least 50. There was like three after it. Oh, there's two back again. Nah, no, not the big one. Where'd that big one? Oh, there he is over there. Oh, they won't tack this one. Maybe I should put on greasy prawn. Come on, eat it. They just keep following it in. Thanks for watching another episode of Fishing with Timmy Turtle. Yeah, apologies for long time between videos. Was going for a once in a lifetime fish. Unfortunately, that's the thing about once in a lifetime fish. They only come once in a lifetime. Thanks for watching. Big shout out to the flathead that made it look like I can catch more than one. If you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. See you next episode. My battery's gone dead on my chest cam, so you're gonna get crappy audio with this. Oh, what is going on?
did not think this through. Yeah. Too bad from inside the nets. <laughs>